On this episode of the CBD University podcast, we're turning 50. Can you believe it? We're celebrating the 50th episode of our podcast since our launch in November of 2019. We're giving you an inside look at our podcast, answering your CBD questions, revisiting our favorite moments from the first 50 episodes, and looking ahead to the next 50. This is the CBD University podcast, and it starts right now. I'm your guest host, Mac Norton, and this is the CBD University podcast, episode number 50. Our golden anniversary since our debut just over one year ago. We told you that seeing is believing when we launched, and we've taken you through our year of more. We're reliving the memories of our first 50 episodes and how we're going to keep doing CBD University right in the next 50. Joining me on this special episode is the guy who is usually in this chair, and behind the microphone, but this time he's on the other side of our studio desk, the host of the CBD University podcast, Joe Agostinelli. Well, thank you, Mac. Well done. Yeah, (laughs) we reverse roles today. How does it feel? It's more comfortable over here on this side. I don't know what you've done. Like, the the seats are better. Yeah, it's weird. It's it's weird being on this side. It's I'm I'm looking at the 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 logo on the back wall, and obviously everything's decorated for the holidays. But it's it's just it's a different angle now. Different, right? Yeah. Yeah. I was going back through our podcast episodes, and one thing I haven't seen is I haven't seen you personally talk about since you're our guest. I haven't seen you personally talk about your background. So I thought for our listeners that don't know, if you could tell them a little bit about your background and how you got to Global Widget. Yeah, perfect. Uh, Started off actually uh, out of college in TV. I was a sports. uh, anchor reporter and, and news reporter back in uh, upstate New York where I'm originally from still a big uh, sports fan outside of uh, work big Bills fan okay. I, can, I can say that uh, although I don't after a recent game with the Hail Mary but uh, I could say that uh, confidently now because we're having a good season big Mets fan uh, big Syracuse fan and then uh, uh, you know made my uh, way down here to uh, Florida in 2017 and uh, made the shift from TV into communications and PR a little bit uh, before that and uh, have been here uh, just over a year, launched the podcast with the team last November, and here we are 50, 50 episodes later. It's, it's crazy that it's gone this fast. It's exciting, right? And there are so many podcasts that exist, and I'll get into our, our first question here. So why a podcast on CBD when there are so many podcasts out there? Yeah, you know, in this space, there's just so many, and we talked about this on past episodes, right? You know, where there's thousands of new companies coming out, but, you know, we want to be that company that not only are we doing all of our products right, not only are we, uh, you know, ensuring the safety and quality uh, of all of our products for our consumers, our distributors, and our wholesale partners, but we want to be the authoritative educational voice, you know, in the industry. And, you know, our podcast isn't just going to feature us, you know, in-house team members. We've expanded the podcast to uh, include members from the media on episodes or our distribution partners on episodes, you know, really kind of informing all consumers of different types about CBD, uh, what goes into products, all about the lab testing, all about its safety, all about its legality, all about the current news and trends, but from a from an industry standpoint and not just from inside the walls here at Global Widget, but you know, what's out there in the industry. And you know, none of this would be possible if it wasn't for the continued support of our listeners, our viewers, uh, you know, 25,000 plus downloads. Uh, and that doesn't even include all the video views across our YouTube channel. So it's really all about the the listeners who have taken uh, to this podcast continue to listen episode in and episode out. We get some great emails and and some great questions from listeners. So without them, none of this is possible. And, you know, just them validating uh, this podcast through their uh, faithful following shows that we are indeed uh, accomplishing our goal of educating them on a number of platforms. Absolutely. So you mentioned questions and they actually sent some in for us. So do you want to take a few of those? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, awesome. So I've got one out of Ohio and it's how does CBD work to relax your body and your mind? Yeah, you know, so uh, this is a question we get uh, quite a bit. And uh, one of our uh, social followers, I think on Instagram actually from Ohio, as you mentioned, uh, sent this question into us. And we always welcome questions across our networks or in our email podcast at globalwidget.com, cheap plug. Um, (laughs) But, you know, it works with the endocannabinoid system in your body. Uh, and we don't make any claims on our products. We've, right. we've talked about that too in past episodes. Um, but you may uh, feel you know, stress relief, relaxation. And it's really working, um, as I mentioned, with the endocannabinoid system to uh, the benefits of, of CBD on your, on your muscles and in your system. And remember, it's going to 
feel different for each person using CBD, just like anything. You know, me personally, I use sleep gummies at night before I go to sleep. Okay. Uh, and I use a capsule in the morning. Somebody else may say, hey, I'm going to do your original or high potency gummies in the morning, or I'm going to have oil with my coffee in the morning sure. and sleep gummies at night, or maybe they'll do a capsule at night. So okay. uh, it, it certainly does work differently from uh, person to person. Sure. So you mentioned that you mentioned the different delivery methods. A follow up question to the first one is how many days does CBD remain in your body? Yeah, you know, another great question. And this is a question we actually not only did we take the answer for the podcast, but we also uh, our content team as part of our uh, digital marketing and e-commerce team uh, just wrote a blog not too long ago on our websites, hempbombs.com and naturescript.com answering this very question. And it all really depends on a how much you're taking and b how you're taking it. So. Okay. Uh, you know, first of our topical products, the CBD, whether it's a patch, whether it's the pain freeze, sure. you know, on our patches, we say between six to eight, maybe eight to 12 hours okay. of use uh, and our pain freeze. And I use our, our CBD pain freeze after working out, uh, after getting back from the gym, if I feel any aches or pains in any muscles. Uh, and you will, f- most people will feel that right away because of the menthol and that cooling effect. Sure. Uh, and it usually will last a couple of hours. And then you know, for an oil and a gummy, um, you know, it all, all really depends. I mean, like I said, I take two sleep gummies at night. It does, the sleep gummies do contain the sleep aid melatonin, sure. um, but gets me through the night and, okay. you know, feeling great the next morning. So yeah. whether you take it sublingually or with our topicals, you may experience it, you know, for, for different lengths of time. Excellent. Excellent. So from seeing is believing to this, our year more campaign, more new products, more milligrams of CBD in your products, more value, more compliance, more scalability, more vertical integration, more, more, more. What have been the top memories from this year more campaign? Yeah, just more memories. <laughs> more, <laughs> more of everything. everything. More of everything. I mean, why do we stop? Uh, right? Yeah, no, it's, I tell you what, you know, since we launched the year of more in May, uh, you know, obviously our new CBD gummies just won an award um, from uh, CSP Magazine. Uh, as a retailer choice best new product and that's not just that's not us voting on it that's over 1,000 retailers nationwide uh, voting on it our nature script bath bombs won an award from progressive grocer uh, those are one of our newer products you know in our CBD oils uh, we've we've increased the milligrams of CBD as you've mentioned in our in our pain freeze and in our other products um, our CBD oils go up to 5,000 milligrams now around some high potency versions I won't see gummies now feature 30 milligrams of CBD and is a brand new and improved gummy from our from our previous line. Uh, more pet products. We have got, uh, haven't tried them obviously, but we have peanut butter flavored, although anything peanut butter flavored can't be bad it's anyhow. It's tempting, right? Yeah, it is. Peanut butter flavored uh, dog chews on both the hemp bombs and the uh, Perfect Paws hemp um, you know, product line. And that's a product line we, we debuted earlier this year. And then now Lip Balm too. Um, and, and our Jolly Bombs now, our Lolly Bombs, those got relaunched. So lots of uh, lots of great new products for consumers and distributors to get to retailers out there during our, during our year or more. Sure, yeah. So back into the questions for just one second. Yep. So what do you recommend for a person that's just trying out CBD for the first time? Yeah, that's a great question. And that's a question we get, uh, we get a lot. And uh, three or four people actually had asked the same question. Okay. Um, you know, and when you're first starting out on CBD or if you're new to CBD, first of all, if you're just starting out, best advice is to start a CBD journal. Okay. You know, try with a gummy or two a day, some CBD oil, you know, judge how much you've taken and then how that made you feel. And keep okay. that journal for about 30 days and you may have to uh, adjust your intake, you know, after 30 days. But, you know, really journal your uh, journey, if you will. Uh, through taking CBD. And if you're just starting out on it, some people may start with a topical product if they don't want an edible, um, but typically gummies or oils, if you do go the edible route, are the uh, are typically the first products that consumers who are new to CBD will try out uh, will try out with. And we do have smaller milligram oils. We do have the 125 milligram bottles still available on our website. Sure. We also have the 300 milligram bottles available in retail okay. and on our website. And we do have smaller sample packs of our gummies. So, you know, in a retail location, we're available over 25,000 retail locations nationwide. You could try an eight pack of gummy uh, for $9.99. Uh, or you can get a, a, you know, sample pack of our 20 pack gummies off of our website. So there are ways there to just try out to see, 
um, what you enjoy the best and to incorporate it into your wellness routine. I like it. I like the idea of a journal. I think it's a great way to track, mm -hmm. you know, especially for the first time user. So we mentioned our whole year more, 50 episodes in. Obviously, this is a major episode. Where do we go for the next 50? When you think about episode 100, where are we at? Yeah, it's crazy. You know, this year has been amazing with our first 50 episodes from launching new brands to launching new products. I've met a lot of folks in the media industry who have come on the podcast, um, you know, who I did not know previously. Uh, you know, it's one thing for us to say how great our new gummies are. It's another thing to have a reporter from C Store Decisions telling us how awesome our gummies are and that he takes them every single day. Um, or really getting behind the headlines with some of the reporters from Hemp Industry Daily. Or, you know, I think one of my favorite episodes was uh, recently, it was episode, <coughs> excuse me, um, 44, with the uh, director of cannabis for the state of Florida, uh, who was here in town and we had her on. And, and she told me, um, you know, that this is the gold standard of the, of the industry of what she has seen. This is exactly what they had envisioned at the state in the cannabis industry um, when she walked into here. And just to hear that third party validation uh, was amazing, you know, and that's probably my favorite moment of the first 50 episodes. And, you know, it, it's interesting because as now we go to the next 50, what's going to happen over the next year? I mean, obviously 2020 has been a challenging year for all of us in so many ways, but, you know, we've gotten through it. Um, and, and, you know, as we get forward to uh, 2021 and, and the next 50 episodes, we'll talk a lot about how we're doing CBD right, you know, and, uh, we're probably going to get some guidance from the Food and Drug Administration, otherwise known as the FDA, uh, in regards to the CBD industry. But no matter, I think, what those guidelines are, you know, we have an in-house quality and compliance team. We have in-house marketing, sales, customer service, research and development. Um, we have all of the in-house teams here that are already ensuring that we're doing CBD the right way and that we're going to continue to do it the right way as we go into 2021. So whatever those guidelines are, we're already ahead of the curve uh, and making sure labeling, packaging, testing, compliance, all of that is already up to what we think the guidelines are going to be. So I think we're well positioned uh, for the next 50 episodes, not only to uh, continue the education, but uh, welcome more of our distribution partners from not only the US, but around the world on the, uh, on the podcast, along with more uh, industry members and other industry insiders uh, who will certainly attest to how uh, how our standards are going to be, how all other brands are measured up to. Excellent. That's an exciting year as a sales guy. I can't wait to have all those people on, you know? The more yeah. information, right? More knowledge is the best. Well, thanks, Absolutely. Joe, for joining me on the podcast, and here's to the next uh, 50 episodes. Yeah, it's been, it's been fun. And, you know, I just, again, I know we talked about this in the intro, but, I mean, none of this would be possible without our listeners and our viewers, and I just want to thank them for continuing to tune in to, every episode. I've been on all 50 episodes now. This one's a little different chair, but I look forward to uh, being on the next 50 and beyond and, and celebrating 100 and beyond. And, you know, if there's anything we can do for our listeners, email us, as I mentioned, at podcast at globalwidget.com or post on our social media networks. And we'll certainly answer more of their questions as we go forward. But it's it's been a fun ride. And I thank our listeners and viewers for making it such a fun ride uh, as we've gone through the first 50. Sure. Awesome. And to our viewers, again, don't forget to subscribe to the CBD University podcast wherever you get podcasts and catch full video episodes on YouTube. I'm guest host, Mac Norton, and this has been the 50th episode of the CBD University podcast. Thanks, and as always, for tuning in. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The CBD products are not intended to treat, cure, or prevent any disease or condition. Always consult your personal physician about CBD and using CBD products. CBD should never be used by anyone under the age of 18. This content is not intended to provide legal advice regarding the legal status of CBD and CBD products.